He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves Trabzon, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with him for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job. Come on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind the door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Force, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. For the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to find out where we are now. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. There's still one of us.
course, yes. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Go! 
launch these bombers. We got one AA clear. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all.
Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus, and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Adrian Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 